The goal when chopping an onion is to obtain evenly sized pieces that will cook at an even rate. Now, professional chefs often chop, slice, and dice with record speed, and this can make the task seem very intimidating to the home cook. But as you'll see, with methodical cutting, we can easily chop an onion down to size. Now, here are a couple tools for the job. You're going to need a sharp, eight inch chef's knife. Make sure it's very sharp. You also need a nice stable cutting board to cut the onion on. Now, it's always a good idea to work with a flat and stable surface on the onion as well. So for my first cut, I'm going to have the onion from pole to pole. And that means from the stem end through the root end. Then we can place the onion half cut side down on our board. So next, we want to remove both the stem and the root end of the onion. So just take your knife and trim it away. Now when you get to the root end, you don't want to take too much away because you want the onion to remain slightly intact so that it holds together. Now with both sides cut off, we can go ahead and remove the peel. And you may need to take the first layer of onion off as well. Sometimes those peels can be very stubborn to remove. Now, I should also say at this particular point you can reverse the order as well. You can cut off the root end and then cut the onion pole to pole in half and go ahead and peel from there. Now again with the flat side down we're going to start making our cuts and we want to place one hand flat on top of the onion. Now this is going to help prevent the onion from sliding around. We're going to start with our horizontal cuts, keeping the knife parallel to the cutting board. Now you want to cut almost but not all the way through the onion and this again is going to help to keep it intact as you make your later cuts. Now we're going to finely chop the onion so we want to space the cuts between an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch apart. If we were to mince the onion we'd space the cuts tighter, about an eighth of an inch apart and for larger chop we'd space them wider. So go ahead and make your cuts. This is why it's very important to have a sharp knife. It should really just slide right through. There we go. Next we're going to move on to our vertical cuts. Again, we're going to space these cuts evenly and at the desired width. And we're going to cut this way through the onion from pole to pole. Again, you don't want to cut all the way through though. You want to keep it nice and intact. Now with this cut, we're really using more of the tip of the knife and we're cradling the sides of the onion so that they don't start to fray apart. So we'll make our first couple of cuts and then we can start to cradle the onion. That's okay if you get a couple of pieces on the board. Now we space them again an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch apart. Now for our first cut we created planks in the onion and then with our second cut we turned the planks into sticks. Now with this final cut we're going to create chopped pieces. So this time you want to hold the onion so that the tips of your fingers are curled in kind of like a claw and your knuckles are extended forward. Now you're going to use your knuckles to guide your knife and you want to start to slice across. Just moving your hand back as you make these cuts and again spacing them evenly. So go ahead and just work your way back. Now when you get to the end that's still intact, let's move this out of the way. You just want to cut this down to size into similarly sized pieces. That way you're wasting none of that onion. So that's half the onion. Of course you want to continue with the second half as well. But as you practice, just take your time and always think about your hand position. Now soon you'll become much more confident of this basic knife skills task. And after working your way through a few bags of onions, you're going to become much quicker too.